Hey everybody, welcome to the cross section of our weekly technicals for July 18th through the 22nd. This week we have two risk plays which are really shaping up on a technical level that are sort of sending us some very, very serious uh, potential sell signals. And one idea that we had from last week that did not work, I'm going back to the well for the second time around, simply because I think the, it's, if, it's one of those kind of things where this week is going to resolve itself one way or the other and it looks like an interesting deep value play. So we'll just take a look at both of those um, as well as the... Uh, Third idea here in our support and the resistance points, and I'll go to the charts and just show you exactly why I'm thinking the way I'm thinking. So Aussie Yen uh, did a major flip here around the 81 level, uh, showed some very, very serious resistance. And the trade here is something that I've been talking about in the other videos earlier today, the risk potential of a risk-off trade. We kind of had a very, very benign environment last week. The Yen, yen crosses really rose highly. And then by the end of the week, we had a whole bunch of geopolitical news that was just terrible. And I don't think this geopolitical news is just going to be swept away um, as a, as a non-event. I think the markets are going to get a little bit nervous, especially with the situation in Turkey, because Turkey is just such a critical point between the east and the west. And the fact that it's so destabilizing right now could be a a, a kind of a you know blowback across all the European sectors and possibly have an impact on the markets. Uh, for at least the first part of the week. So certainly technically we had some very, very key tells, both in the Aussie and the pound yet, that I think worth taking a look at. And then the last idea that I had was the Kiwi Cat idea, which obviously, you know, failed miserably last week because because both I underestimated um, or didn't expect this this RBNZ announcement on the Kiwi and uh, the fact that Caddy was much stronger than we thought it would be. But now coming into this week, if the RBNZ fails to go through with its threat of cutting rates, it actually presents, I think, an interesting, a very interesting upside trade, as well as the second component of this of this uh, cross is if the risk off situation kind of accelerates, it's going to drive oil prices lower, and that's going to obviously help the uh, short cap position in this particular trade. Let's take a look at the charts here and see what I'm talking about. So first, let's take a look at the Aussie The Aussie just such a clear technical sell. You have a triple top formation of the 81s here. We ended on the on the lows of the day. It it it's just feels like one of those great technical setups. Obviously, it's 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 a sort of a bet on the risk off trade uh, as the week progresses. But very often, when you have such strong technical setups, you can just kind of blindly follow them with obviously the the stop above the 81s uh, and a target of possibly just sort of 77s because of the very, very clear nature of what the market is communicating here. The pound yen, I'm just going to kind of go through the, both of the yen crosses. The pound yen here uh, also fails uh, pretty strongly here at the 43s, with the, the sort of the, the, the Brexit highs or, or the Brexit break of the 140. Uh, it fails right up above this level. And it's less of a clear technical sell as, as the Aussie yen is, but it's still a very interesting trade here. And I think here you sort of trade against the highs, meaning that as long as the highs are not broken, as long as the 144s are not taken out to the upside, it's basically sell the rallies kind of a trade in this particular cross with a slow drift all the way down to possibly 35 or 33 as a, as a near-term uh, point. So both of those kind of flashing to us technically. We have a you know, flame-out candle, a shooting star candle on both of those uh, at key, key resistance points. Um, and that's a relatively high probability trade, and you and you kind of want to take it technically, and then just sort of let the let the fundamentals try to catch up to it. Of course, I think what technically this is showing us is that the market is afraid of risk, uh, or that the risk off is going to be the story at least as the beginning of the week uh, comes on. And unless that that scenario gets completely uh, completely rejected, this seems to be a very very decent setup here as we start the week. Now the other trade is not something I like to do uh, generally, but the reason why I'm looking at this again is because when you're looking at the Kiwi Cat, yes, miserable failure at 95, no doubt about it. But looking at the longer term point, it is still an uptrend. And the uptrend really remains until 91 gets broken. So if you're sort of a deep value buyer against a very, very uh, clear uptrend and a, and a positive uh, carry trade, positive rate trade, this may potentially present uh, an opportunity here for at least a bounce back up to 93s. So the risk rewards here are relatively uh, okay in a sense that it's it's not much of a risk here down to 90 once. Um, it does look to be like a grossly oversold structure. It can it can blow up in your face if the RBNZ sort of says yes, we're definitely going to uh, cut rates 
in uh, in the next uh, RBNZ meeting. But I, th I find that doubtful, and that's that's really basically the trade here. And for now, technically, as long as 91 holds, this still remains a long-term uptrend. So those are kind of the three major crosses that I think we're taking a look at. Of course, the yen crosses, in my opinion, are much stronger uh, technical trades. And of those two, the Aussie yen is probably the strongest technical formation at this point. And you kind of have to go with that as the beginning of the week um, begins and bet on the fact that risk off is going to be the dominant theme as the markets begin to trade. Wish you guys the best of luck, the best trading. Boris Schlossberg, over and out.